I'm not going off because I have the donuts. I'm just, I have a stale donut left and I really needed some sugar. Not bad anyway. Okay, so welcome back. John Kaminsky here for Cayman Sound Productions. Episode 6 of Musical Excursions. And um, last week we did uh, Major 7s doing position playing. So I am going to do Minor 7s this time. All right. So remember we did. If you haven't seen the last one, I'll just do a quick rehash. Nothing real crazy. Um, let's see here. Major 7s. Right. Uh, this is all in G, by the way. And then, or this one. Okay, we did five positions. One, two, three, four, five. And it starts over again. Now, uh, what did I say? Minor sevenths this time. So, we've got this time, we've got... um. Okay, I'm doubling up on some notes. You can do it like that. You got two fifths. Or you can just do it like this. Different ways to do it. Do it one with just two fingers if you want. You got your one, flat seven, flat third, fifth, right? Okay, here's one. Like I said, we're going to think all these is the same thing, pretty much if they're all in pretty much the same position, just different fingerings, okay? You know, it can even go to minor nines. We're thinking minor this time, more or less. Okay, so there's one there. There's another one there, right? One, five, flat third, flat seven. I'm sorry. One, five, flat seven, flat third. Flat third's on top. Okay, or you can take that third and put it on the bottom instead if you want to. So we'd have this. That's a nice inversion. It's a nice sounding, open sounding inversion. But I also like this one too. It's real handy and I like to play a lot in, in, the, in the, the, these three middle strings here. But um, in other words, uh, I like to play a lot, right? just real handy right in there that's just as handy almost to grab this one so anyway but we'll think of that as a second one either one of these two remember we're talking about positions not the exact fingerings because there are so many different fingerings anyways right here's the second one okay then we can come up here Got a five on the bottom, the D, right? B flat, the minor third. There we go, F, your flat seven, and your root on top, there's your G. So that's another nice kind of sort of open and voicing, not real open, but I suppose if you wanted to do that one, actually, yeah, you could. Um, Top too. Huh, didn't think of that one before. That's a nice little inversion there. So all I did was move the the fifth to the top, just like we did down here. Okay, but that's what I was referring to. Or we can do that. Hmm. Okay, so that's three now. So we've got one. Right? Three. Four. Everybody knows this one. Right? And then... Five. There's your fifth one. You have to mute the B string. I'm doing that with my, second, my first finger here. This way we have minor third, fifth, root flat seven 
no fifth, no, uh, no second string, and no sixth string, of course. And then we're back again. This one, same thing. Okay. I just did a Dorian mode thing there, but it doesn't matter. These are, we're basically referring to, I've had this TikTok the whole time. Thank you. Um, never mind. Um, anyway, so that TikTok threw me off. What were we talking about? <clears throat> Well, I did all the positions. That's what I wanted to do. And, um, oh, I was talking about I was doing the Dorian mode. That's what it was. So it doesn't matter, um, you know, Dorian, straight minor, um, melodic minor, harmonic minor, whatever. The point of this is just getting in a position. Knowing different positions, I'm sorry. So when you're there, you know where all your chords are, so you can... Um, Can grab them pretty much anywhere you are. It'll work both ways around. If you're used to soloing in that area and you don't know a chord form, you'll find now you can learn the chord forms. If you're used to those four chord forms, but you're not used to soloing in that area, you can force yourself to learn your notes in that area so you can keep soloing in that area. So that either way, it doesn't stop your movements, whether you're playing chords or, or, or a single notes, soloing, comping, whatever, it gives you other options. So you don't have to jump all over the guitar because you don't know where to play what you want to play where you're at. Okay? That's the point of this, this series, and I hope that one helps you a little bit too. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. It would really help me keep doing this because I, I want to do it. I like it. I enjoy it. But it would be much more fun if people, um, when people write in and say things uh, about, you know, what they're thinking about what I did or just have a question or a criticism is fine because I, you know, I want to have new ideas of how I should, you know, you know, what angles I should go at this stuff with. Um, I know the donut was 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 a lot of fun, but I need more than that, okay? So looking forward to hearing from you, and thanks for watching, and see you next time, all right?